Hi guys, it's Katie, and I thought I would do a walkthrough of the garden. It's got to be the most beautiful day of the year. It's um, about 80 degrees, low humidity, nice cool breeze. It's about 5 o'clock on the 13th of August, so right in the middle of the month. I thought I would show you what it looks like. My husband just mowed the grass a little bit ago, so um, this is about as neat as my yard gets. So not, not terribly neat around here, but that's the best we can do. So here's the grapes still have lots of damage on them and um, there were some grapes but everything's just looking pathetic on this end that's what they look like and then this bed is just gone crazy with weeds and I've been meaning to show you this um, but this is I don't know if you can see this dent in the ground is from where that tree landed so there's a pretty significant divot from there and the damage is still there we're still working on getting it repaired it's actually going to be you know how insurance is it's actually going to be more work than they initially planned they're going to have to tear a lot more out <laughs> to fix it because it's not up to code so that's how insurance things go right <clears throat> all right so this is what this bed looks like kale's getting bigger i did pick some off of it um i'm just seeing now there's some little pin holes and yep Right there, those are little eggs of the cabbage worm moth. And that's what's probably making all those little holes. There's some more right there. And they hide along these veins. So pretty much all you can do is come and check and pick them off, pick the worms off. Sometimes they'll be like a cottony material that they're spun, spun around their egg sacs. Um, you can just clean that off. You don't have to come check out here. The garden is actually kind of a disaster right now. We just got back from pretty much a full week at the beach and then before that we were gone for the weekend so I haven't been out here doing much. There's my bell pepper plant with a few little bell peppers there. Pretty small but I don't think they're going to get much bigger. This plant's not very well established. And then over there that's the same bell pepper that was on it for the last one. I've just been letting it ripen up and it's turned that really pretty orange yellow color swiss chard still doing good we've been eating off of it and then these other peppers um poblano peppers there's a little one there's a little one i pulled uh, a bigger one off i've been using it in my salsa right this bed these are the beans growing up and i noticed there were some flowers when i checked but I don't see any beans yet, but the flowers are there, so the beans are coming soon. There's one of the squash plants I didn't pull out, and another one there. This is the tomato plants. I have not picked tomatoes since we've gotten back, so tons and tons of little cherry tomatoes all throughout. I need to come out here and pick them. The problem is, is they grow so fast, I don't get a chance to come out here, and then they're almost too ripe and they kind of taste a little bit I don't know not exactly delicious <laughs> another Swiss chard there another pepper plant um, and then here are the cucumbers they're putting off a lot of flowers and a little female flower here I haven't seen any cucumbers yet though um, but lots and lots of flowers um, not too many female flowers though but they're doing pretty good. I see here there's some spots on this leaf. Which I'll probably just pull this plant out. There's not enough room for it anyway. I don't think it's doing well. And I don't want it to transfer whatever <laughs> those spots are to the rest of my garden. Uh, and then it just kind of goes downhill from here. More crazy tomato plants. Putting on tons of tomatoes. And they're starting to not look so great. <sighs> Got mosquitoes out here. Um, this basil is finally taken off. Marigold and then the tomatillos. Um, they're dropping their fruit, but inside it, they look okay, so I need to come out and get these. Yep, so I'll come out and get those. And then there's tons more on the plants and tons more drops. Some of them are not good and a lot of them are good, so I just need to come out here and get them and get all these tomatoes. So that's that bed, and then this bed, this tomato plant is finally 
succumbing to whatever. I'm actually not sad to see it go. Like, I'm gonna get so many volunteers in this bed next year. Look how many tomatoes are just rotting off the vine. And I hate to waste food, but I just cannot keep up with this. But this plant looks like it's not doing great. I don't exactly know if it's just blight or if, I don't know if a storm came through here and broke these branches while we were gone, but whatever. I will clear out this bed, um, you know, get what I can off of it. I might let it go for maybe a, two more weeks and then I'll have this, pretty much this whole bed that I can maybe do another crop of lettuce or something else in. But yeah, I'm gonna get a ton of <laughs> tomato volunteers. My apple tree is still looking sad. Fig tree. Figs are getting bigger. We still haven't had one yet, but they're getting bigger and looking awesome. The plants look really great. Growing big. Not too many spots on the leaves. The hops are going crazy. Look how many cones there are here. Just millions of them. And they're all over everywhere. So that's pretty cool. Next, my husband's gonna wanna grow his own barley and malt it himself to make his beer. Hops, 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 hops. And then the grapes, looking gross. Strawberry bed, not doing anything till next year. This fig has gotten much bigger. Lots of new growth. Figs on there. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes out here. A little fig all the way down there. Yeah, this plant's looking good. You can see how about right there, it's much greener. That's growth that's just been put on in the last little bit. So it's grown really well. And then here in my husband's garden, it's a mess too. <laughs> Tomato plants. Um, the sunflower bloomed. This is the one that fell over in the storm and then grew up. And then it bloomed and looks like the seeds are being eaten by the birds, so that's okay. Squash are doing good. I actually pulled a couple squash off. I'll have to insert a pitcher. Pretty big. They were just pollinated um, female flowers whenever we left for the beach and we came back. It was huge and overgrown. So I don't see any new fruit, but that's all right. The okra is finally putting on some fruit. I'm actually going to bring these in. Um, there's actually several on each plant. So, I think there's, what, six plants? That's nice. Bring these in for him. And then over there, I see something. This plant, I thought, fell over and snapped and died, but I see there's some pretty big slicers. That's the one thing is, we have all these tomatoes, but they're all little, um, little ones, so we don't have any slicers, which we're making do, but it would be nice to get some big ones, but there's some big ones there. That was a volunteer plant, so I don't know what kind it was. I'm trying to get this last okra off. Okay. So, that's what I got there. That's pretty good. And it's not much going on. The front bed is super weedy, and it's not much different than it usually looks. So, I'll just leave it at that for this garden update. Hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you again next month. Bye guys.